Good morning, good morning. So I am getting a little bit of an early start today because yes, the world is slowing down because of the current state of things. Um, Restaurants are closing, or not closing, but they're enforcing new restrictions and bars are closed. So you know how it is during times like this. The world is panicking and it's just best to remain cool, calm, and collected because that's the only way things are going to get solved. So my plan today is to, of course, admire my beautiful, fresh flowers that I picked slash kind of sort of may have stolen from (laughs) the hotels around here. They have beautiful bougainvilleas and they match my chair's perfectly they look good and all my purple vases give me a break all right so the plan is to package all of these art prints you beautiful people have been purchasing my art prints and i am excited to get these out to you as soon as possible as soon as these are packaged up i'm going to go down to the post office if not today then definitely tomorrow to get them on their way I have the Ralphs here ready to get packed up with all of the orders, so I have a lot of work to do. Let's get to it. I think just this and comic book work is what's going to comprise my creative day today. Day jobbing is a little slow, which is worrisome, but let's not worry about that. Let's have some fun, shall we? There's my coffee, of course. I think I might switch to tea today, though. Kind of had about 70 gallons of coffee yesterday, so I think I think Earl Grey for the rest of the day is in order. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. to annoy this dog. Say hello. Oh, licking. Say hello. <laughs> like, no, I, I would like to yawn instead if that's okay. He was taking a nap. He's so patient with me. <laughs> oh, but I bother you because I love you. <laughs> So I am not entirely sure what it sounds like when doves cry, but I imagine this is kind of what it looks like. There was a massacre here today, clearly.
Good morning, good morning. Today is going to be a pretty easy day. I have this new illustration that I want to get a jump on. And I also have this secret for the moment project that I want to get a little bit more work done. I want to do another illustration or two on this. And after that, it's up in the air what I'm going to be doing. I have this new sketchbook that I shared with you in a previous vlog that I made a couple of sketches in. I have not used this particular type of sketchbook before, so I want to play with a few different mediums so that I can start getting a feel for what the paper is like in here. So I may do that. Uh, there's a high probability that I may work a little bit more on the comic book. We'll see. I've got my lemon water here. I'm being good. I'm trying to drink lemon water first thing in the morning as opposed to coffee. I drink lemon water throughout the day, but from what I understand, drinking it hot and first thing in the morning is best. So it, it's a bit of an adjustment, but it's working out so far. Um, let's get on with the day. I'm going to torture myself today. Say hello to my tiki friend back there. And the bat, of course. But I'm going to torture myself because it is a... Uh, uh, I made coffee, but I think I'm going to put it in the refrigerator for tomorrow. Today's gonna be a lemon water and tea exclusive kind of a day. So masochist that I am, I'm going to turn on my coffee candle. This is one of the few Bath & Body Works candles that I like, but oh, it smells so good. So good. If I could get, there we go. Oh, there we go. Keeps turning off on me. What is going on? Ugh. Coffee. Mmm. Mm -mm. By the way, right now that I'm going on and on about this candle, if anyone out there, any one of you viewers of mine, makes candles or wax melts or handmade soap, let me know. I'd like to check it out. Give me a kiss. I get no love from this beast. This is what he chooses to do instead. This savagery is more appealing to him than giving me a kiss. What are you gonna do? Hey. He's not even gonna pretend. Not even gonna pretend to notice that I exist. Oh, really? Bentley? But, but I love you. <sighs> Stuffed animal liquor.
is the ridiculousness of this outfit just too much? It's just, it's too much. It's what I do. Look at this thing. Is this not one of the ugliest blouses you've ever seen in your life? Puffy balloon sleeves, which you can wear up or down. I think I'm gonna wear them scrunched up just a little bit. This blouse, I think, I think this blouse was completely handmade by some weirdo back in the 70s or 80s. It looks to be 100% handmade. The stitching is very well done, but this is upholstery fabric. There's no stretch, it is thick, and it's just, oh, it is uncomfortable. But look, look at the hideousness. How could I pass this up? It's springtime, hello, I have to be appropriate. Springtime at the vampire picnic is what I'm serving to you today. Anyhow, hi, how's everybody doing? We are all stuck inside right now, yes? Well, the majority of you. I live in the middle of nowhere in the middle of the desert, so I can still run around as much as I please. Now, yes, of course, we are all doing our best to avoid other people because I am in the low risk category, but I live in Palm Springs. There are a lot of older folks out here and I love my old people, so I, I want to keep them germ free and away from me, so. You know, I'll come around and do my vampire duty when it's time. You know, once people start to, uh, I'll, I'll come out. I'll come out of hiding because I need to eat too. So let's get on with the wrap up, shall we? This vlog was just a whole lot of same old, same old. What else do I do but draw and just brat around, right? Uh, the prints, the prints were for our, were, they still are. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. The prints are for sale. You saw the prints in the vlog last time, and then this time I packaged and shipped out a whole bunch of them. You guys are loving the prints. I'm so happy. I have to say I was hesitant about releasing the prints. As you know, if you've been following me on this channel, you know that I've been a little uh, apprehensive about selling that part of my past and letting it go, but seeing that you guys are enjoying them just it warms the little black heart that I have in here. So thank you so much. Uh, the, excuse the hacking, Bentley is back there being his hacky little self attacking a dog. Um, the coloring book, Spookletts is now available. She is available and she has been available for a couple of weeks at this point. She's available on Amazon as well as a printable PDF in my Etsy store. Links are always down below, so check that out if you're interested in picking her up. Other than that, I have nothing else to talk about. It has been slow going here in my world because of, of course, the world events, which is fine. Um, it doesn't affect me very much because you all know that I tend to be a bit hermity, <laughs> to put it lightly. I'm a loner 90% of the time. I tend to be a bit of a hermit always a loner, so meh, I'm, I'm okay with this, um, with this, well, what is, what is the, uh, the jargon that they're using? Social isolation or social distancing? Tell me something I don't know, because that has been my entire life, so I'm doing okay, but I know that some of you are out there probably struggling with this, you know, you feel a little trapped because you can't hang out with your friends, you feel that you need to distance yourself from your family and loved ones. So I understand, it might be easy for me, but it's probably killing some of you out there. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, it has to suck and I, I totally get it. So hopefully bringing you into my vlogs, into my clear germ-free desert will help you feel a little bit better. It'll maybe keep you company for a little while. I don't know what I'm trying to achieve here, but I'm just here. I'm serving myself to you on a platter and I hope that you enjoy it. Candle. Today's candle is warm tobacco pipe because I feel like being an old man or I mean church lady. I don't, vampire church lady. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what the deal is today. It's the middle of springtime and I'm burning a tobacco candle. That's what I do. That's going to do it for today. I have nothing else to talk about. Should I mention the, the stack of crap underneath my table? But just, I'll, I'll interject with a little random story here. So I was out checking my mailbox, uh, when? A couple days ago, week ago, something like that. Um, about a week ago. 
and my landlord. My landlord stops me and he says, hey, uh, would you be interested in some DVDs or VHS tapes or CDs? No, no, I, no, no thank you, I said. And then just in passing, I passed by and I said, oh no, no thank you. I'm like, but if you have any LPs, I will be happy to take a look at those. And he says, wait, 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 come back, come back. LPs, like records, like vinyl records, you mean? And I said, yeah, yeah. And he says, well, come on over. I have something to show you. And he allows me into an apartment that had been abandoned. I guess this person, I didn't ask. It's none of my business. So I didn't want to ask about specifics, but this apartment had essentially been abandoned by someone and they had been gone for over two weeks. And at that point, legally, a landlord can come in and sell, take, or just dispose of their belongings. And so I walked into this apartment and there were a ton of records. And I thought, oh my God, are you just gonna allow me to take them all? And he says, take whatever ones you want. So I walked out with a stack of like 60 records, okay, 60. And this is the tragic thing, is that I've lived in this building for a long time. I have no idea who this tenant was, but these records span anywhere from craft work to disco, to weird, obscure 80s harp music. This individual had the most eclectic collection of music and I'm thinking, we may have been friends. Who were you? Who are you? I have no idea what happened with this individual, but damn, <laughs> we probably would have gotten along swimmingly. Never in my life have I met anyone who had such an identical taste in music as I. I mean, Kraftwerk and Barry White? What? What planet was this person from? I, maybe they were sent down to fetch me and they failed in their mission. I don't know, but it's been in the back of my mind for days now and it almost makes me a little sad, probably irrationally so, but I'm a weird, sensitive, romantic, dreamy person. So I'm thinking, oh, the one person who could have been completely on my wavelength is nowhere to be found. But oh well, at least I have their record collection. Hopefully they don't come knocking on my door saying, hey, are you the girl who stole my records? Which isn't going to happen. So I'm gonna take off now. I mentioned that because number one, there's a stack of them sitting underneath my coffee table and that's not okay. I just have nowhere to put them. But I mention it because I'm going to be deep cleaning my apartment today. What else am I gonna do right now? So. I'm going to be cleaning my apartment. I'm going to be making good use of my record player today. And that's going to do it for today. Thank you for joining me. Everything you need to know will be down below. Social media links, website links, everything. All that good stuff is down below. I will see you guys again in the next one. Be good, be bad. I don't care which. Just make your way back in one piece. All right. I will see you next time.